Hey readers, today I'm going to teach you how to access books virtually online. So you should be in the virtual book box activity and you'll notice off on the side that there are three different pages. On the first page, you'll see a link at the bottom and you'll click it to take you to Epic. Epic is where you'll be getting all of your books. So you are a student, so you'll click this button right here and you'll be asked to enter your class code. Your class code can be found in the instructions bar at the top. You can copy and paste the link or just type the letters in. It is WJM9955. Once you do that, it will take you to the up page where you'll see all of your classmates and you will find your name, enter your code if you have one, and now you're on the Epic page. Before you start looking for books, you're going to want to bookmark this so it's on your bookmark bar. So whenever you are just logging onto Google and you're ready to lose a, use a book, it is right there for you. You don't have to go back to Seesaw and find that link again. So it's very important that you bookmark this. So when you're on the website, the first thing it's pulling up is books that are recommended for you. So you can just look through there and decide if there's any books that interest you. You can search books by your guided reading level. So if I'm a level E, I will scroll here and search through these books. Or I might want a book to be read to me. So I will come and search during this tab. Um, another thing you can do is search a topic that you're interested in. Like, I love dogs, so I might want to read a book about dogs. When I search dogs, it will pull up all kind of books here for me. So I'm going to select this book here. And when you select this book, you will notice that there are arrows here. These arrows zoom make the book full screen for you. And then you can not make it full screen. Um, you will turn the pages like so by clicking to the right or to the left. This is a book that can be read to you. So if you click this play button at the bottom, it'll read it and highlight the words as it's reading. Um, when you have it like this in this mode, you can see which page number you're in. And um, if you really like this book and you want to keep it, you push the heart and it's added to your library. Now, the best thing about this is when you go to your library, and you want to read it again, all of your books are here, but you don't have to start over. It picks up right where you left off. We left off on page nine. We start on page nine. So that's awesome. If you want to go back and explore books, you just click these binoculars right here and you're back where you're started. If this is a little confusing for you and you would much rather shop like normal in the classroom, you'll go back to the Seesaw activity, go to page two, and you can just shop from a book box just like you would in class. Now, I love food, so I might, so after I'll click this link and it'll take me to a virtual book box and I will try this yum topic to see what kind of books are there. Oh my goodness, to have lots of food. Ooh, tacos love tacos. Ooh, it's about food trucks. I like that book, so I'm going to put it in my favorites. Like it says, it pops up back down there. If you like this whole section, you can favorite the collection, and when you go to your library, it appears right there. Now, if you notice that there's a book and you start reading it and it's really not what you like, or you've changed your mind and you don't want it anymore, you can simply click this heart at the top and the book is then removed from your library. So if you make a mistake or you're just not interested in that book, just click the unlike button and that is okay. So now you know how to access books virtually. So your goal is to get five to 10 books in your favorites. After you're done with that, I want you to go back to the Seesaw activity, click on page three, and use any seesaw tool to tell me what book you look forward to reading. Out of all five or 10, I'm sorry, all of all five or 10 that you've selected down here, I want you to tell me which one do you look forward to reading. You can type it, record it, or make a video. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Bye.